Magnets! How do they work? And why are they important in a motor? Today we're going to talk about a new product line, the Crawlmaster Sports, and why they're better. Mostly, magnets. We just announced a new product line, the Crawlmaster Sport. Now, you may just be getting familiar with the five slot motors because the five slot motors are starting to come in ready to run rigs like the Element RC. However, we've been making the Crawlmaster line for over eight years and it is a very familiar construction to us. Now, first I would say, what is the actual advantages of the five slot motor? So we can look right here on the table and see that we have one three slot armature. And we also have right next to it a five slot armature. And the slots are just as, uh, pretty much what it sounds like, the slots that we would wind the wires into them. Because of these differences in slots, the turn counts are not the same between a three slot and a five slot, but we do list the equivalent KV on the website just so there's an easier comparison between them. But to give you an idea, the five slot Crawlmaster 13 turn is about the same speed as a three slot Trailmaster or Torque Master in the 27 turn range. And we also have different lengths of motors, just like all the other lines. So the 540 is your normal size motor and the 550 is going to be longer. And we can look at these in their entirety right here. As you can see, the 550 right here is a slightly longer motor. Bigger motors produce more torque and more power. So if you can possibly fit a 550 into your rig, I always recommend it. I really like the way that they drive and they, they just give that extra punch, that extra torque feel to them. They also have a really nice drag brake to them. So if you have an ESC with active rectification on it and you're going downhill, it will just, you know, be more controllable essentially. So let's talk about the construction differences about our sport motors and what makes them special compared to other sealed cans in the market. So we have here uh, a brand T sealed can motor, and then we have the Holmes Trailmaster, which is the same construction as our new Crawlmaster. And really the big difference that uh, my motors have as compared to normal sealed can motors is that they have much nicer magnets, and there's some other small changes to them as well that make them better. But when it really boils down to it, you get about 20% more power and torque out of our motors as compared to a normal sealed can from any other company. Now, why is this? The majority of the difference is the magnet strength and quality. So we're going to test the brand T motor and we have our Tesla meter hooked up here so we can see our strength. And I'm going to put the meter right in the middle of the magnet. And hopefully you can see where I'm testing that. And we are looking at, yeah, 109 Tesla, somewhere around there. We move it up, we move it down just a little bit, about 110 millitesla. And then we move to the edge of the magnet. And this is where it's important. You can see that the magnetic field is dropping off extremely fast. And when we get to the edge, we're only at about 40 millitesla. We go back to the center, about 110. And just for sake of consistency, we go to the other side and it drops off. This one's 50-ish millitesla on that side. And we can do the same for the other magnet because magnets all have a little bit of variation. Ooh, and this side is much weaker magnet. That's the downside to using the cheapest materials possible is there's a lot of variation to them. So let's get right there in the dead center. 96 millitesla, 90 millitesla, go to the edge. Ooh, that one jumps down to 36. Probably gonna be the same on the other side. 43. So as you can see, the magnetic field on this magnet is just not very consistent and it is also not really that strong. Now let's go to our sport motors. These are 15 or $20 depending on 540 or 550 version. So center of our magnet, pretty consistently 116 plus millitesla. Going up and down there. Now let's go to the edge. And as you can see, they hold their magnetic field a lot better to the edge. And this is very important when you want to produce torque with efficiency. You need that entire wrap of the magnet to be strong. So when we get to the edge here, we're basically at 110, right on the edge. Millitesla drop down to 100 when we fall off the edge of the magnet. But very consistent field across the entire magnet. And I don't want to give away too many secrets on how they are produced, but suffice to say, higher quality. And we go to the other side of the magnet. Let's see, there's the drop off. 
and we got a hot spot there, 140, 126, 100. It's still staying fairly consistent across it. And for sake of consistency, we will also check the other side. About the same, 115, 116 millitesla in our center of the magnet. Let's roll to one edge, 96 millitesla, 100 millitesla. And this one drops off a little more. Oop, I dropped off the side. There we go, well, right at the edge. It's still above 100 millitesla on there. And that, my friends, is why you can't only look on looks or price for the performance of a motor. In this case, we really tried our best to make them quality all the way around, and a big part of that is having a nice magnet. Not just the cheapest magnet in a low-cost motor, but a magnet that will do what we want it to do, which is be really nice, good on torque delivery, nice and torque dense, and good for your price. So, I also have some higher quality expert and pro Crawlmaster motors. Like I said, we've been making them for eight years now. And if you want to know the difference between them, the best way is probably going to be to list what the torque density is. And we're gonna just set the 550 aside because we're only talking about the 540s for these numbers. So compared to our standard sealed can motor that would come with a rig of 540 in the same speed range, we're gonna get a 20% bump just by going to our sport line going from our sport to our expert, nicer magnets, nicer construction all the way around, we have an additional 47% bump in torque over our sport line. We go to the pro line and we have an additional 15% bump over the expert line. Said another way, as compared to the lowest quality motor, which we do not make, we have a 20% bump in torque, an 80% bump in torque, and a 108% bump in torque as we go up in quality. However, you do pay a premium on the price for the nicer motors as you go up. So for a price to value ratio, the sport motors are actually one of the best that you can find. But if you're looking to have more power or torque and you don't wanna add any more length to the motor, you don't wanna add any more weight to the motor by adding length, then that is when you would go to an expert or a pro motor to step it up in quality and get that high torque, the good feel, the extremely precise startup without having a weight or size penalty in there. And that's why most people in competition usually choose these upper end motors over the cheaper motors. Although not everybody has that kind of money to spend, which is why we have the more affordable choices. Now we could go one more step and talk about our, our variant that is the puller model, the puller crawl type. And it is even smaller, but of course the price is even higher than the rest. Instead of using ceramic magnets like all of these motors do, we use high grade neodymium magnets. And that's really how we can best describe all of our motors. As we go up in price range, we use better ingredients for higher quality, higher torque, higher power, and also higher efficiency. So I hope this does explain our Crawlmaster line of motors, why five slot is a good choice if you want smooth startup and efficiency. And to tell you the truth, it is my favorite line out of all of them. I, I really love the 13 turn 540 and the 12 turn 550s. It's really my favorite, nice and smooth, but plenty of wheel speed when you wanna bump over an object. If you do have any questions about them, maybe some recommendations on what you would use in your rig, post down below and I will get to them as quickly as I can. And as always, thanks for tuning in and have a good day.